The lieutenant governor has given a point-by-point -point rebuttal to Kejriwal claiming that fighting corruption is important but the question is following procedures mandated under the constitution under rules of transaction of business and adding that the AAP government should have sent the draft to the LG before taking it to the cabinet. Our correspondent Ankit Yagi is still with us on the phone line. Ankit, the lieutenant governor returning the AAP fire, a point-by-point -point rebuttal, uh, the seven-point rebuttal in fact uh, to Kejriwal. If you can just uh, shed light and uh, elaborate more on this. Well, uh, the lieutenant governor, of course, not taking it lying down. Uh, Arvind Kejriwal and the Ahmadi Party have been extremely offensive on, uh, on the, as far as this entire incident of uh, uh, the, the, uh, the Lokpal bill is concerned. Now, lieutenant governor giving it back uh, to the Ahmadi Party, saying that uh, as of now, the, they should have followed the late procedures. This is what the criticism of the Ahmadi Party has been. The, uh, the, uh, even the constitutional experts and the lawyers, those who think that the central government dictate that every bill has to be vetted by the Ministry of Home Affairs, now, even if that is unconstitutional. But as of now, that is the provision. If the party and the government wants, they can challenge in the court. Until the time there is any other remedy, they have to abide by the ground rules that have been set. But to the rebuttal of that, the Ahmadi Party has released a list of 13 laws that uh, and bills that were passed by the previous Shira Dikshit government, which were not sent to the MHA. So now the, it has become a, 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 not only a war of words, but also a war of uh, provisions and uh, and uh, the law that has been set in. Uh, the Ahmadi Party government clearly saying that if uh, they are wrong in sending it directly to uh, the, the Assembly, then all those 13 bills and laws uh, enacted by the Shila Dikshit government should also be termed unconstitutional. So now uh, the, uh, the Lieutenant Governor already has, we also know, has sent uh, he has a sort of legal opinion from the Ministry of Law and Justice and only after that uh, he will be sending his final recommendations as far as the Ahmadi Party government is concerned. Ankit, one of the, more, uh, one of the points that the LG in fact uh, has, has, been, has uh, made very interesting claiming that the failure to control the crowd at the Janta Darbar is proof that the police's views cannot be ignored on outdoor sessions, definitely shedding light on the AAP's uh, consistent tussle that they've been having with the Delhi police since they've come to power. Absolutely. In fact, uh, the criticism that the Ahmadi Party government in Delhi is facing is that uh, they have been very confrontationist in their attitude, not waiting for uh, uh, things to, uh, to uh, you know, to uh, find a middle path or to speak to them. Uh, it's only that they believe in the confrontation and that is what keeps them in the media. But the party, on the other hand, has been saying that... Uh, all those uh, things about uh, speaking to them, trying to find a middle way has been tried and tested and now the only uh, language that the establishment understands is of, uh, of the confrontation. But uh, um, at, at this, the larger point that the Aam Aadmi Party and, uh, and the Delhi Chief Minister is making with these confrontations is that, that Delhi should be given a full statehood and that uh, he also said that Delhi police should also come under uh, the, the state of uh, Delhi. So all these things are being played out. There are many subplots in this uh, larger picture of the general Pal bill. And, and remember, there is also the politics of 2014 elections, of how the Ahmadi Party wants to project themselves. They already have said that corruption will be their main pole plank as far as going into the uh, Lok Sabha election is concerned. And uh, they, they already, uh, Arvind Kejriwal making a threatening gesture yesterday that he will sacrifice his government uh, for that. So all these things are being also played on politically. And on the other, other hand, there is a legal battle that uh, Ahmadi Party has to go through now.